So for this problem, we're given a solid region S um, bound from 0 to 1 for x and y, and then 0 to 4 minus x squared minus y squared for z. So first up, we want to sketch this region. I'm going to start by projecting it into the xy plane, because I just always think that's easier. So I'm looking at x between 0 and 1. So x equals 0, and x equals 1. And then I want to do the same for z. So uh, for y. So y equals 0, and y equals 1. So I had this little square in the first quadrant. So now let's translate that into three-dimensional space. So there's my little square. And the lower bound for z is 0, so the xy plane. So this square is actually the bottom. And then the upper bound is 4 minus x squared minus y squared, which is like an upside-down paraboloid. So it has a maximum height on the z-axis at 4, and then it just kind of goes down, kind of like an upside-down bowl. So something like that. And now we want to find the volume of this. So these bounds we're given are going to work really well for the bounds of integration. So I'm going to put x on the outside, then y, then z. And we want to find its volume. So we're just going to integrate 1, or dv. I'm going to throw in a 1 so it's easier to look at. And then dz, dy, dx. So integrating 1 with respect to z is just going to be z. It's pretty easy, right? I want to evaluate that. From z equals 0 to z equals 4 minus x squared minus y squared, that paraboloid. So I'm going to plug in 4 minus x squared minus y squared first. So now I want to plug in 0, which is just going to be 0. So nothing else. Now I'm ready to integrate with respect to y. So 4 minus x squared is just going to be a constant. And then y squared is going to become 1 third y to the third. Okay. Now I want to evaluate that from y equals 0 to y equals 1. I'll keep my dx in there. Okay. So now let's plug in 1 for y. One times 4 minus x squared, just 4 minus x squared. And then this is going to become a 1 third. Now for z equals 0, both of these terms drop out. Now I'm left just integrating with respect to x. Let me go ahead and move over here. Okay, so the integral of 4 is going to be 4x, and x squared is going to become 1 third x to the third minus, and negative 1 third becomes negative 1 third x. And now I want to evaluate that from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So I'm just going to plug into 1 into everything. 4 minus 1 third minus 1 third. OK. And then for x equals 0, all those terms drop out. So add these together. What? 12 thirds minus 2 thirds. Ten.
and thirds. That's my answer.